Hello everyone, in this particular video, we will look at different ways to remove elements from a page using JavaScript, right? So let's see that how it works and how we can do it, right? So this is our HTML page. As you can, as you can see, this is our body. Inside of this, we are having a heading as my task. And then inside of this, I'm having a unordered list inside of which we are having three different lists, right? Now, if something is written here like learn JS practice dome build project like this. Now inside the list, we are also having a button. What is this button for? This button is for to remove, right? Is the remove button and its class is also remove button. Now what the, will it do? Let me show you. So this is how it is looking. Uh, I'm not focusing on the UI part. It's just a functioning lecture, right? So this is my task and here all the work is written. Now, when I click on this particular remove, I want this particular list to get removed, right? This is the main task which we are going to learn today. So let's understand that how we can do it with the help of JavaScript, right? So first of all, we need to get all the remove buttons. So how we can get all the remove buttons? Just simple query selector all, right? So write const remove button equals to document dot query selector all bracket inside of this we will use the class this particular class right we have written remove button for all so just copy it down and paste it here like this got it now let's come forward and uh, the second thing is to loop through each button since we are having all different buttons and all have the same class and everything is stored inside this remove button so we need to loop through each button right so for that what we'll do we'll write remove button this particular remove button and then for each then bracket inside of this let's take a button right and then here what we'll do we'll write button this particular button right button dot add event listener means to add a event listener on every button right and what is this event this event is click after that what we will do we will simply write const list item calls to e dot target dot parent element right this is which you need to know right so e dot target is the clicked button right e dot target is the clicked button and what we are going to do we want to remove it right so what we will do we will do what that list item dot remove like this that's it that's it this is the actual method by which we can do it there's one more method by which uh, we can do it like uh, uh, in that particular thing we will do list item dot parent element dot remove child and then we can write the list item inside of this well that's a bit confusing that's why i have written it in this particular format and now if we go and check in our website let's see that whether it is working or not so let's click on remove you can see the item got removed when i click on dome Yes, you can see like this, all the items got removed by clicking on the remove button, right? So this is how it works. Well, it is very easy and uh, quite uh, understandable that how actually it is working. We are simply doing, uh, adding an event listener to the button and then we are targeting the button and then removing it. That's it, simple, right? So this is all for today's video. I hope you understood the concept very clearly. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.